An online memorial has been posted in honor of a 10-year-old boy from Scripps Ranch who died while playing with a gun. New tonight, prosecutors have filed court papers saying the gun was loaded, despite an earlier statement from the gun owner claiming the weapon was not. This is the memorial website posted in honor of 10-year-old Eric Clias. The Scripps Ranch boy laid to rest this week after he was accidentally shot on June 4th while playing with a neighbor's gun. The site includes photos of the fourth grader with classmates at Dingman Elementary, participating in a Martin Luther King march and on a field trip to the USS Midway. Friends have posted comments on the site saying they have fond and adventurous memories of Eric, who was a beautiful boy. News 8 obtained a copy of the felony complaint prosecutors filed Wednesday against the gun owner, 55-year-old Todd Francis, the brother of former mayoral candidate Steve Francis. The charging document clearly says the gun was loaded, despite a June 7th press release issued by Francis's attorney saying it was not loaded and that the clip was hidden in a separate location. Eric was playing in Francis's garage with Francis's nine-year-old daughter when somehow the gun went off. Police have not said who pulled the trigger, but the complaint also charges Francis with felony child abuse for putting his daughter in a situation that could endanger her and cause her, quote, physical pain and mental suffering. A search warrant identifies the gun as a Sig Sauer 9mm semi-automatic pistol. With that type of weapon, if a bullet is left in the chamber, it is possible the gun could still be fired even without the magazine installed. In fact, the gun manufacturer itself has a warning manual posted online saying, quote, pistol will fire with magazine empty or removed. Francis's attorney declined to comment on whether or not a bullet had been left in the chamber of the gun. The attorney said she stands by her earlier statement that the gun was unloaded. Todd Francis is out on bail and is set to be arraigned on Tuesday on three felony counts.